Bet you can't guess where I'm at. G&G, and look, just look at this. Levi. No, G&G, look at this. So look at the wall. <laughs> We got peanut gallery behind the camera. Look at this. If you remember like two years ago, they had like one pistol. They're like, hey, here's our new pistol. Now look at this wall. Can you believe? This is the G&G pistol lineup. Like in like two years plus, they've gone, they, like this is serious. This is a real like total collection. So no matter what you're into, you've got a choice. My personal favorite, I'm telling you, real wood grips, two-tone gold and silk. I, I'm kind of leaning toward that one. There's also some other pistol stuff too. You may have seen a little bit on it, but I want to show you this part first because that is just insane. But when it comes to pistols, I'm going to show you this right here. This is their new system, the SMC9, and it's so cool that it sold out pretty much before they even got it. Like pretty much pre-orders sold out on this thing. So let me kind of give you a quick rundown of what this thing's all about. It uses the lower of their pistol. So you start with the lower of the regular pistol system, which I'm gonna spin around here. It's the lower of this, <clears throat> so that. You take that, you take the slide off, and we're gonna swing back around, and you now have like this SMG upper. <laughs> it locks in, it changes the way you charge it and everything. It gives you, like, so it charges here from the front, right here, gives you M-lock rails, a full upper rail system, a folding side stock. Uh, it ups the FPS. They do have extended mags for it. This is an interesting system, and it gives you uh, the fire selector on it. So you actually have uh, multiple fire modes. This has been a game changer for g and I really think they've hit the nail on the head and like just knocked this thing out of the park with this system to give you the ability to start with your pistol, slap it on this, or you can keep it as a pistol. It gives you two options. So it's not just like putting a pistol in an outer case. It actually gives you a complete upper component to your gun. Now I'm gonna show you something else over here. We're gonna walk a little farther and I'm gonna swing you around and we're gonna look at this. It is the Type 64. So the Type 64 is a Japanese rifle. They've gone with authentic markings with the exception of the Emperor Seal. That would be disrespectful. Uh, give you an idea, I'm gonna get close and that way you can kind of see the markings there on it. They've got, even got the round count on here like you would see on the real one. Let me get the camera pointed the right way. There we go. Uh, and the real one, integrated bipod, metal construction. You got like, I mean, it, it's nice. This is nice. This is premium. But I'm going to show you what it comes with. This is the big deal. Let me swap hands. Is this. Let me get it close to the camera. Where are we? Where, right here. That's it. If you can look, check it out. I get to focus. Look. Nope, it's upside down. <laughs> it's live, guys, right? All right, so this is it, look. So you got auto, you got your fire modes up top. You got three different trigger modes here, and you got functions, and then of course they have a gear set. The gear, well, the bottom three aren't used yet. This lets you literally program this gun through the remote. So you're gonna make it shoot full and, and semi, or semi and semi, semi and three round burst, semi and five round burst, or semi and full auto. It's also a two-stage trigger, meaning, let me draw up, balance and everything, that this half pull will get you semi-auto. That full pull will get you whatever you programmed it first, or maybe if you make it semi. So if you just want to all semi, you can make it the whole way that way, or you can actually make it so it's full auto if you hold it all the way back. If you just have flutter it halfway, it's going to be semi-auto. That is so neat that they've done that. Uh, also for that, I'm going to walk over here. Look, you guys know this. g and has just some of the coolest, like, they make so many different products. This. We've got box mags, including one for that gun I just showed you. So they've already doubled down, invested in the fact that uh, if you guys want to run a full auto, you can maybe have, like, have it as like, a support type gun. They already are creating this one with the red on it as the box mag, the drum mags. You've seen the drum mags for the other things. They do have, you know, of course, the ARP9, which is wild. That thing is probably the most popular gun you've seen. I'm going to take it right back over here and show you one thing. Look at this right here. The drum mag for the PRK-9 that's going to come out soon. That's the uh, the standard mag for it. That's the PRK-9 RTS. That's the longer version here. This one. And then, of course, now they have a drum mag for you guys who want to do, like, the CQB thing. You know the controversial gun. Love it or hate it. There it is. This one. You've seen the Cobalt Kinetics. That's out. Man, you've, uh, they've got a lot of stuff, right? Oh, and here it is. Here's the SMC9 all put together. Since you want to see it, what it looks like. So it's not like a drop-in kit. 
that's the whole gun. Like I said, so popular, it's sold out quick. Then last but not least, I want to show you this little thing as I'm walking on the outside. This is their new tracer unit. It is the smallest tracer unit that is on the market, smaller than the Ace Tech currently. Threads are built in on this side, charging ports here, 14 millimeter counterclockwise. It works with any adapters. It turns on and off by twisting this top piece. Like that is on and that's off. I'm twisting this top cap and you can see the, there's a little notch and you hear it click. I don't know if you hear it click or not. It's on and off. It has a, It turns off in one minute and it has a motion sensor. So the second you pick up your gun, it turns itself back on. It automatically turns off even if you leave it on the on. So it's gonna conserve that battery. The on and off's on the front so you don't have to press the button on the back that's really small. And it's supposedly it's bright enough to light up all their stuff. I haven't tested it yet. I'm excited because look at this. This thing is so tiny. It is itty bitty. It is like the littlest little tracer unit. So this one's called the uh, UVT-106 is the model number on this one. And uh, Charlie, when's the UVT-106 coming out? Uh, next month. So next month, there we go. So that means if you're watching this video, some probably sometimes February, maybe March at the latest of 2020. So uh, that's it. That's what we've got from G&G. Let me know, as always, what's your favorite thing? What do you want? What do you have down there in the comment section? I would love to hear from you guys and gals about your favorite thing you saw. Is it this massive wall of pistols? Is it that? I, I'm kind of linked to the Japanese gun, but this is kind of cool. All right, man, I'll see you later. Uh, have a good time, and uh, don't forget to mash the sub button down below.